Before diving into the world of hyper-realistic GIF animations using stable diffusion, let's ensure we have the necessary extensions in place. Requirement 1. The Roop Extension For achieving hyper-realistic and consistently detailed faces in your GIF animations, we advise utilizing the Roop Extension for a seamless face swap. If you haven't already installed the Roop Extension, we have a link in the description on how to install and use the Roop Extension correctly. The next requirement is the Animate Diff Extension. Now let's open Stable Diffusion and click on the Extensions tab. Next, navigate to the sub-tab labeled Available. Once there, locate and click on the Load From button. In the search field, type Animate Diff and then click on the Install option to initiate the installation process. To use the Animate Diff extension effectively, you'll need to download a motion module from the Hugging Face website. Visit the official Hugging Face website Link is in the description. Now download the MMSDV14 CKPT file and place it in the Stable Diffusion Web UI, Extension, SD Web UI, Animated Diff, Models Directory. Next, we will navigate to the Settings tab within Stable Diffusion and select the Optimizations tab in the left sidebar. Then we will need to check the checkbox with the label, Pad Prompt, Negative Prompt to be same length. You must do this to prevent generating two separate unrelated GIFs. Select Apply and Restart UI. Additionally, I highly recommend performing a complete restart of your stable diffusion to ensure a seamless experience and prevent any potential errors. Once you have rebooted stable diffusion, it's time to navigate to the text to image section within the stable diffusion interface, where we will proceed to select the following settings. We'll start with the realistic vision checkpoint for our model. Following that, we'll offer a prompt for describing the desired look of the GIF animation, and naturally, we'll also provide a negative prompt. For the sampling method, we will use Euler A. This is the perfect sampling method in combination with the realistic vision checkpoint. Next, we will set the sampling steps to 30. For the width and height, we will select a 9 to 16 ratio. For the CFG scale, we will keep this at 7, and we will set the seed at minus 1. Scroll down, and if you've installed Animate Diff correctly, you'll encounter an Animate Diff drop down menu containing all the necessary settings. Let's get started with the settings for our GIF animation. We'll start by selecting the motion module we downloaded earlier. After that, we'll enable Animate Diff. When it comes to the total number of frames, it's worth noting that setting it to 16 frames aligns with the model's training, yielding the best results. With an FPS, frames per second, Set at 8 and a total of 16 frames, you'll obtain a 2 second GIF animation. We'll save our animation as a GIF. For this tutorial, you can leave the remaining settings as they are. However, feel free to experiment with these settings on your own if you wish. Now scroll down and open the Roop extension panel. You can choose a face for the Roop canvas. We're using the Roop extension to keep the faces consistent in the final GIF animation. We've supplied the Roop extension with a Margot Robbie face, and we've enabled the extension and we will keep the rest of the setting untouched. With all the settings in place, it's time to click the Generate button and patiently await the creation of your GIF. After the generation process is finished, we have successfully crafted a face-swapped GIF animation. The final destination directory for saving the GIF is Stable Diffusion WebY, Outputs, Text to Image Images, Animate GIF. Appreciate you tuning in, catch you in the next video. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't hesitate to drop a comment.